Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here. Today, the Trinity Stamps team is sharing an amazing new collection of dies designed to simplify card making. We are going to be sharing some wonderful projects with you today and giving away a gift card to the Trinity Stamps shop. I can't wait to show you how this card comes together. I was recently introduced to these two new Emergency Card Essentials die collections from Trinity Stamps. These were designed by Sarah of Sassy S LLC, a professional card maker who creates what she calls emergency cards. The purpose of these dies are to help you create cards ahead of time without a sentiment. When you need a card, choose a pre-made card from your pile and add a sentiment that fits the occasion. The first collection here has a card-based die, a divided card pattern, nested circles, rectangular shapes for embellishments or sentiments, a border, and these fun faces that we're going to use on our card today. The Emergency Card Essentials collections are designed for card makers, but as a scrapbooker, I feel that many of these pieces would be perfect for my pages as well. The second collection has a set of nested rectangles. I used these in a recent live stream to create a lovely layered card. There are some trapezoid shapes which can be used to create some background designs or you could turn them into holiday ornaments with this topper here. This collection also has some stars and a border also, and some additional pieces that you can use on your projects. So as you can see, there are quite a few pieces in these two new collections. In a moment, I'll share a few tips for using these new dies. But first, I want to show you how to create some of the items for the project. As I do, I'll share more about the giveaway today. When I received the Emergency Card Essentials die collections, I knew right away that I wanted to create some bright, smiling coffee cups. I think these colors here are going to be perfect for a birthday card. I'm going to use the Tiny Mugs dies to cut out a mix of coffee mugs to create a card background. Now, I could cut them all from mixed media paper first, then add color to each mug individually, but I would prefer to simplify the process. Instead, I'm going to blend my inks on three sections of this cardstock, then I'll cut the mugs from each of the colors. I'm going to start with tumbled glass, then I'll create some pink and yellow with Kitsch Flamingo and squeezed lemonade. I'm using blending brushes to add the ink, and I don't plan on blending any of the colors together. If you want to create additional mug colors, you can blend the yellow and blue to create green, yellow and pink to create a soft orange, and pink and blue to create lilac. All right, all my colors have been added. I'm going to create a little variation here by spritzing them with water. As the water sits, the Distress Oxide inks are going to react and become lighter. It's going to create some subtle texture on my coffee mugs. Now that the cardstock's dry, I can start cutting out these tiny mugs. I'm using a Spellbinders P6 machine with a magic mat and a top plate. The mixed media paper is rather thick, so there's no need for a shim. Now that all the tiny mugs are cut out, I'm going to cut the faces for the coffee mugs. Here's where I'm going to reveal a few of my creator secrets to save you some time and sanity. Now there are multiple little faces here, and all these teeny tiny pieces can be mixed and matched on your mugs. My original plan was to cut these out, sort them, and adhere them in place with liquid glue. But I know that a task like that would make my brain monster crazy, 
So here's what I did instead. On the back of my cardstock, I'm laying down some two inch double sided tape. Now I'm going to lay the dies on the front of the cardstock and place a piece of craft foam over the top before I add the top plate. The craft foam adds just enough pressure to cut through the cardstock and adhesive, but it doesn't cut through the backing sheet. Now a few of the pieces do come off with the die, so I'm just going to use some tweezers to place them back on the adhesive sheet. Off camera, I finished cutting out those little faces, and now I'm going to choose some shapes for the sentiment. I'm using the A Latte Love Trinity stamp set to create the phrase, birthday wishes. Before I stamp this, I'm going to audition a few of the dies to see which one fits the stamps best. This rectangle from the Emergency Card Essential Set is a great size for a sentiment, but it isn't large enough for the stamps. So I'm going to grab the next size up and place this on some cardstock so it's easier for you to see. I can get both stamps on here, but there's a lot of extra space. I'm going to go ahead and try one of the circles. There are multiple circle shapes in this Emergency Card Essentials collection, and they layer really well together. Circles are great for sentiments and embellishments. I also use quite a few circle shapes on my scrapbook pages as well. So this here looks like a good combination. I think I'm going to back it with a few strips of paper using this die. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these out and stamp my sentiment so that we can assemble the card. The first step to creating this card is arranging the tiny mugs onto the background. I use the Argyle stitching plate to add a design to this. You could also add some spatters or embossing. When I create random backgrounds with die cuts or stamps, I like to form visual triangles with the colors and shapes. I also place the images off the edge to make it look like a piece of pattern paper. I'm going to adhere these in place real quick with some liquid adhesive. Don't you just love those bright colors? You could also cut these from holiday pattern papers, neutral tones, or create a monochromatic color palette. All right, now we're going to bring in those fun little faces and I'll share more about today's giveaway. To make this even easier, I'm going to use the pickup tool to place the little pieces on the fronts of the mugs. Creating this sticker sheet has made the process go so much faster. I would have made such a mess trying to glue these in place with liquid adhesive. As I finish adding these, I'm going to tell you how you can enter to win that $25 gift voucher to Trinity Stamps. Our team is so excited about the Emergency Card Essentials Collections that we have created a playlist of videos packed with inspiration. The link to the playlist can be found in the description below, along with links to all of the supplies I'm using today. To enter the giveaway, you're going to fill out an entry form. That's it. Our team always appreciates the likes and subscribes, but all we're asking you to do is complete the online form to enter. In the description below is a link to the entry form and the deadline for entering. All right, all my faces are in place. Don't worry about trimming these just yet. We're going to use one of the rectangle dies to create a finished edge. I'm going to add these little pattern strips. I cut these using the longer rectangle dies. Now that the background's complete, I'm going to use one of the rectangle dies to create a finished edge on this background. I'm just going to lay this over the top and run it through the die cutting machine. Using the die was a very simple way to create a finished edge on this card panel. Those nested rectangles have a beveled finish, so it also created a nice frame. I've gone ahead and placed this on some black cardstock, and I'm going to pop it up on the gingham background with some foam tape. 
Before I adhere my sentiment in place, I'm going to add some little stitching lines with a pen. This is a simple way to add details to a sentiment. Now I'll just adhere this in place and our card is complete. Here is the completed card design. It's such a bright and fun card that's perfect for a birthday. Those little faces add the perfect amount of whimsy, don't they? I hope that you enjoyed today's project featuring the Emergency Card Essentials die sets from Trinity Stamps. For more inspirational ideas, tap on the playlist link down in the description below and you'll be able to see all of the videos created today. Don't forget to also fill in that entry form for a chance to win a gift voucher to the Trinity Stamps shop. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies I used, feel free to post those in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.